good morning thank you very much uh, it can get louder and thank you biju for setting the stage up for all of us as you spoke more people came in so it's not as scarcely populated as you thought initially but i am sure your confidence of getting this room filled will be substantiated in a few minutes so thank you thank you for coming in all of you uh, a very warm welcome this is a technology conclave some things that we hear you say i have already heard some things that you will hear you will say ah that's new and some things you will think that's a bouncer okay <laughs> the more the bouncers the more the chance for you to get curious but if you think that's useful do grab it and take it back with you uh, with that as a thought process i'll just uh, go ahead with some of the thoughts that i have uh, as we talk about what's happening all around but more importantly this kind of an event can never get done unless all of you come in into the room so a set of applause for your own selves for being here on time thank you you should feel more proud you can clap louder also if you want <laughs> so, the, uh this could not have got done other than for the support that we get for this and this supports coming in from various of our partners who've come in here showcase that confidence in you and put up some money and efforts to ensure that they create value for us so big thanks for them and uh, also like biju said there's a whole lot of people within rai who made this happen so thanks for them and various speakers who are going to come during the day and that add value to all of us uh, the what's happening around us i just thought i'll put in a few thoughts in your minds so that when you sit through this one and a half two days you'd be able to understand where are you and what are you going to take back from here all of us come spend our time here trading off our possibility to stay somewhere else because we are thinking we are going to add value to ourselves here so the idea is that is there something that i capture from here and go i'm talking about the overall theme that's happening in the market and then some of you can take up whatever is being said on the stage and elsewhere to go back with new friends new handshakes and also new thoughts in your brains so one customers habits are changing rapidly all of you agree to that yes so as i came in the morning i thought maybe my size has changed i wanted to buy a new shirt i was wondering whether i'll get a new white shirt in 8 minutes time right uh, i didn't find it immediately maybe i didn't look enough in all the various quick commerce that was available nearby but that's possible that's customer habit we think that we want something and we want it now pronto we not even wait willing to wait or we think we want something and we are also thinking where can i get it cheapest i am even willing to wait 5 days for it if it's much cheaper so i'll trade off time for the sake of price or i will say if i am paying the price that you are asking for i want it now that's the way we are as consumers innovative new products i think that's the way in which each one of us can survive companies who been glorified for long are started being questioned if they are not having innovative products in the market and companies that were just set up 6 months before are also seeing some super valuation a super off take if they are the kind of people whom the customers can relate to and customers find value from customers are spending their money on new alternatives let's not kid ourselves the fact is that customers have got money today in the country but they've got various places to put their money in so while you may think that all this buzz that's happening around the share market is going to be not impacting me fact is that the people are putting money and into various things that they believe is going to create more wealth when they put money into thinking that they'll get wealth going forward they are not spending enough money on the discretionary products on ground so sometimes your competition for money maybe the guy who is buying the new house maybe the new cars that are the, that they are buying maybe the emi that they have to pay for after having bought that big car and so there is competition that's happening all in all places so the share of wallet of the customer is constantly getting touched by various alternative means for spending which may mean that your real competition is not even this guy who is going to sell uh, perfumes next to you 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 are selling perfumes so it's somebody else who is creating the competitive scenario for you the last part uh, i was telling was the competitive framework but also this whole channel explosion is creating competitive framework and we'll need to be sure that we are visible in every part where a customer is willing to spend time why i think retailers are finding 
new ways to create their own simplification experience they are wanting to get faster technology is stepping in what can you truly give to the customer is the question mark that you are going to have every single day and then of course as process of speed up for you how do you make sure that daily life of all of us is also to be kept up with because sometimes you may know that you want to sell on a quick commerce website but internally you are not set for it so although you are getting orders you are not able to fulfill it there are quite a few of retailers even i have known here who have kind of done a good job on ensuring that they are visible in all the marketplaces but they just don't have the capacity to take care of the supply chain requirements that goes with it and they are landing themselves into trouble uh the big question is there's a lot of distractions in our minds that's we as customers we've got a right as we speak you've got a right to look at your mobile phone as we speak you've got a chance to even text people that is they are not even in this part of the world uh you as we speak you've got the ability to think oof the share market is gone into a different sphere altogether now where am i on that so our distraction are far too many how do you as a retailer catch hold of the attention span of the customer is the big question if there are people who come in here and if there are people who are displaying there able to give you even one chance of catching customer attention i would say grab it and go for it because that is the big competition today it's yes share of wallet but more about share of time of consumers and of course there are innovations products i don't want to inundate you with this i'm just putting up this slide for you to understand and see what can happen in these two days for you if you're not already there in some cases you may need to give back some information also to the people around so do not think it's a one way street sometimes you may need to ask for what you want and you may find somebody willing to answer you so it's not as if everybody who is here or who is presenting here have got the answers so be ready with your set of questions in your mind and ensure that you are able to enjoy yourself there uh, i've told about customers alternative spaces you can see that also and the last part is what i call as the current day scenario for customers they want you to be innovative they want you to personalize i don't want to be sold things i don't i'm not interested in they want you to be accurate promise them deliver otherwise do not promise definitely speed is of importance and of course you've got to be visible to them anywhere that they go otherwise they are going to lose interest in you and find a new person who is going to fulfill their demands uh, so we do have to say some thanks which you already did and more importantly if you do find some things that being told to you during the day how do you make sure that you kind of etch it in your brain because there's lots that's going to happen every time you find something that somebody here has said that's interesting or or somebody is kind of given you a new thought do feel free to clap clap i think a it's going to make sure that you are feeling more live and b every time you clap you've taken one more point in your brain that's going to that you are going to take back and work with it so have a good day <laughs>